Welcome to OSG's 60 second troubleshooting video. When high accuracy and good finish is required in milling applications, a single operation may not be sufficient. Attempting to machine a part with a single pass often results in unwanted and irregular surfaces, often outside of tolerance bounds. The easiest solution is separating the application into two parts, roughing and finishing. The roughing operation is meant to remove a large amount of material quickly. Using a large diameter tool, often an indexable tool, large depth or width cuts are made through the material, resulting in a part roughly in the shape of the finished part. The finishing operation is meant to remove the remainder of the material, going from a rough outline to a finished part. Generally, this is done with a smaller tool than the roughing pass, though you can use the same end mill with different depths of cut to finish the part. To provide high quality parts in good finish, make sure that your finishing tool is not taking too much or too varied of a depth of cut. Such variations may cause deflection marring the surface. If this is unavoidable, you can add a semi-rough operation between rough and finish, partially smoothing out the part and allowing much more consistent machining in finishing. By using a rough and finish operation, plus potentially a semi-rough operation, you can ensure that your part turns out in tolerance and looking good. Thank you for watching. For more information, visit www.osgtool.com.